Good morning, everybody. Resale Rabbit here. It is snowing again. You can see some of my windows. So I have 38 pallets coming in. It is 7.36 a.m. And uh, I've got no place to put it. Hopefully the snow stops and the parking lot gets plowed because a lot of it's going outside and gonna be shoved in the loading dock. I have no, I'm gonna try, I've got all that Walgreens that came in the other day. Uh, I'm gonna try and get as much of that on shelves as I can. But that's only gonna make room for like seven, eight pallets. Uh, we do have customers that come in today to pick stuff up. So we do need a clear path for them to walk. Oh boy. I'm excited to see what's on them. I'm excited to get them. But uh, this whole thing is gonna be kind of a pain. By the way, it's Halloween. The kids get to trick or treat in this. The city of Green Bay just decided it wanted to dress up as Halloween, so it dressed up as a ghost. Put a giant white sheet over the entire city. So I guess we need to get some candy for the city. Well, it's 8 a.m. It's a long drive to work with this snow. Uh, the semi's here, so and it's still snowing, so that'll be fun. 38 pallets here, and I have no idea what to expect. So this top one completely fell off the pallet it was on. I balanced it on there and literally hung on the side of the forklift to keep it from falling off. Yeah, all this is out in the snow. Hopefully we get this unloaded quick and there's minimal damage. Oh man, this is not going to be pleasant. The pallets are all loaded up inside. Side note, um, one thing I noticed, I was editing videos last night and uh, the audio gets really weird sometimes. It will cut out for a second and then sound really bad. I figured out what it is. When I film in the car, my phone's connected to Bluetooth, so it's using the, uh, the quick connects. That's what the quick gap in audio is. And then it tries to uh, use the microphone in the car right up there. Uh, but anyways, uh, so I'm turning Bluetooth off when I'm in the car talking. So got it all loaded in. I am absolutely exhausted and sweating. I'm heading home right now. I'm not heading home for the day or anything. I need to change my socks because my feet are soaked. Worst day to snow. We've probably got a good three inches so far. It still hasn't stopped, but it has let up. Um, worst day to snow. Those pallet jacks do not handle well and forklifts do not handle well in the snow. Also, they were stacked really bad. Um, I did request them to double stack them. I don't didn't even know what the pallets looked like. I bought most of those sight unseen, so I didn't realize they were gonna be that bad, but it probably saved me about 1,500 bucks because they would've had to go in two trucks otherwise. Yeah, a good thing OSHA wasn't here watching how we were doing that. I'd stand between the forklift and the pallet to lift it up so he could get the forks in because it would be on like an angle. And then once he'd get the forks in and thankfully not crush me, I'd duck under it and crawl out. Yeah, safety third. Anyway, so we got all those loaded in and um, that's about all I got for you now. I'm gonna show you what they look like in a minute, but I need to change my socks. My feet are absolutely drenched. Uh, I'm grabbing some socks for him too because his feet are soaked. Thankfully, I was able to bribe the neighbor to bring his forklift over and get some of those double stack ones off. We wouldn't have been able to do it without that. Sometimes I really think I need a forklift, but I have no space to store it and very limited space to even maneuver it in this warehouse. I think I'm gonna need to get a larger building soon. I've got about 16 months or so left on my lease. It's uh, currently no, Halloween, 2019. And my lease is up in 2021, Ju end of June, 2021. It's about a year and a half left, a little under. And uh, then I think I'm gonna move into something bigger and I'm seriously considering getting a second warehouse for to use between now and then. There's one, a couple buildings down that's opening up. I might uh, jump into that one. Anyways, gonna go eat socks and I'll show you in a second what we got. So here they are. These two are double stacked. I put them right on the loading, up to the loading dock so I can get to them relatively easily. Looks like we've got some grills in there, some plastic totes, odds and ends. There are the rest. You can see I barely fit my sign in here. So this is a bunch of different stuff. I got five of these. It's Amazon. I believe I paid 500 or 550 a piece, something like that. Uh, these are really tall. These are six foot tall Gaylords. There's one, 
There's two, uh, three, four, and five. So these will be a separate video as I go through them and probably one of the last that I go through. Next, I got these two. These are the last ones I bought. Just uh, cleaning products and whatnot. Looks like some Ziploc bags. These are gonna be great for the sale. He did say he had them in his own sale. I already had price tags on them. Whole bunch of these Clorox wipes, garbage bags. I paid 500 each for these two pallets. Looks like there might be some decent eBay stuff, some shavers and whatnot. Wow, I'm gonna do really good on these pallets. I offered them to somebody for a thousand each, but I think I'm gonna not allow them to buy them. Because look at this box. He's got, this is his price when he had his sale, 120. I think a lot of this will do really good on eBay and then the rest we can put in our sale. Next, we've got a pallet of Walmart tools. You can see this one got some snow on it, melted, but it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Uh, this pallet was 650. Again, this is gonna be a separate video. I think this one's got some, well, that's empty. Some serious value here. Socket sets with a couple of missing pieces, but yeah, I think this one's gonna go have some really good stuff, but that'll be a separate video. And then beyond that, everything else was their excess inventory. Uh, I paid a hundred per pallet plus shipping. I don't even remember what shipping was. Maybe, I don't know. 1500 or so came from Georgia. So it came a long way, but I paid a hundred bucks for each of these pallets um, You can see there's all different stuff. Look at this an air compressor Briggs and Stratton air compressor some push mowers uh, a lot of cabinets. I'm seeing This is the stuff that he couldn't sell like you can see he tried originally to have this at 300 unless that's the weight and Just kept dropping the price and he couldn't sell them and he needed space so we worked a deal, 100 bucks a skid. There were 30 of them. I did condense a couple. So this I mentioned was actually a separate pallet that fell off the pallet and landed on this one. So we've got this, that's two pallets. And then let's walk up here. This was one pallet. These two were below the, were the bottom of the pallet, pallet that fell over. And then these two, we're actually on this pallet. I was trying to condense them down, but we ended up having room for it. Seriously, look how tight this is. That was uh, not fun to back in. Let's see what we got. We've got a mini fridge here. Looks like it, this is probably outside in the garden center. Uh, looks like there are a couple of charcoal grills on there. Here we've got some pillows, sprayers. This looks like a lot of Walmart stuff. Oh, paper plates. I actually needed some. This is, I believe this is Walmart. Parts of the legs to hold it up doesn't work and screws are, I don't know what that means, what that says. Under it, looks like some decent stuff. Uh, this is a pallet of, looks like flooring. Hard Pergomax hardwood, and there's some stain master below. We did really well with the flooring on the Lowe's pallets. These are the Amazon ones. I'll show you the top, but we're gonna go through these on a separate video. So this one, is this a water cooler? Uh, heavier use bottled water dispenser. I might keep this because I was actually looking to put one in, in the warehouse here. Uh, or I'll probably sell the one in the box, keep the one with no box. Uh, what is this? I don't know. Black refers to like a mini fridge. Uh, looks like we've got a grill on here. This one, we've got a pool. I may hold on to this for next summer. And I have no idea what's in here. Baskets, maybe? I'm not sure. This one, because I don't have enough pool floats. We got some pool floats. Uh, a lot of summer stuff, it looks like. This looks like to be Walmart. I'm pretty sure that's Walmart right there. Yeah, that's gotta be a, Wal a Walmart pallet. This one, we've got a spreader here. This looks nice. This is Ozark Trail, which is the Walmart brand. But this looks like basically the same thing as a Yeti. 
I have a feeling this one is going to do pretty well. What else? Um, a shark vacuum. I have no idea what's in this box. And I'm not sure what's on the pallet under it. Uh, more grills, maybe. Looks like I might have a lot of grills. Little pool there. Uh, another Amazon pallet. This one, hand vacuum. That'll probably go in the trash. Some more sprayers and odds and ends. Uh, looks like a lot of yard stuff. All right, up here, Weber grill, or at least part of one. Um, this looks like maybe the instructions for it. So a Weber grill and then whatever this is, an unknown box. And this is probably the rest of the grill, I'd imagine. Here looks to be some Lowe's stuff. You got a big bathtub here. Uh, hopefully it's not damaged, or at least not too damaged. Uh, we got some flooring, and on the bottom here, you know, I, I'm not sure what this stuff here is. I don't know, mystery boxes, I guess. Let's see if we can see it from the other side. Uh, no, I have no idea what those are. So we'll have some fun opening that up. Here looks like a couple more lawnmowers. There was another one of these on the floor of the truck, which I stacked up up there somewhere. Uh, some lawnmowers, Black & Decker, string trimmer maybe. That looks like the string. Um, oh, here we go. Another air compressor, Briggs & Stratton. So if these work, they'll do really well. Even if they don't work, I'll be able to sell them for parts. Here's that tool palette again. Uh, what do we have in here? A toy, large toy of some sort, an empty box, a uh, gas can. Uh, it looks like a decorative bird, shop light. Uh, it's a black flamingo. Um, curtain rod, I guess. Here we've got a fan quiet series fan this looks like it's one of those tall ones uh this i think is a a hand truck some luggage uh, i don't know what most of this stuff is some sort of pump maybe because that looks like a float there. this might be a sump pump uh this may be another water cooler although there's no top for it to go into so i don't know water dispenser who knows? Uh, this one, we got a nice big igloo cooler. Um, some hose of some sort, it looks like. Garden hose. See, a lot of this is garden stuff, but this is probably like 20 bucks. Let's see if it has the price. Uh, $34.88. So if we sell this in the dollar sale, well, I, I call it a dollar sale. It's going to start at 3 then drop to two, one, and 50 cents. This will sell right away at three, even though people don't need hoses this time of year. More garden hose, so some decent stuff there. All right, now let's start on this side. Box three of three. The other two I pulled off, I think one of them said one of three. So this is probably all one item. Wheeled, wheeled industrial tote. That's probably not what's actually in here get this open I'm gonna need two hands for this looks like a pool maybe yeah it's a pool in three different boxes I can't imagine it's gonna go for much because it's not even in the retail boxes so it probably has issues but we'll send it to auction let it go for what it goes for here it looks like some air mattresses uh, I don't know what this is oh I think this is a big cooler I think that's a cooler. What else is in here? Looks like a few of these. Oh, this is that same fan we saw earlier. Some blinds, uh, wrought iron. This is another one of those tables. This looks like a Lowe's palette. We've got some lighting on it. Um, that's probably a window treatment. This is a giant planter here and it's full of stuff. 
Oh, it looks like there's some tools in there. I don't know if I can get them out though. We have here light or outlet. Oh, oh, dropping stuff. I don't know if I can get it out, but that looks like a socket set down there. Uh, some more lighting. A giant clock. Thankfully, that's. I don't think that's real wood, so it's not getting damaged by the, the snow. Uh, this extra large deck box. Oh, there's a picture. It's always nice to have. So here, these are the, no, this and that is the rest of the pool. I'm not sure what this is. Does it say on here? It doesn't. I could probably open that, but it looks like whatever it was was 75 bucks. I don't know what it is, but this is a six foot folding table. Those will do, those always do really well. Some cabinets, that's just dust on it. Uh, some pretty nice cabinets actually. Uh, that is basically the rest of this pallet, two giant cabinets. Here we got a styrofoam cooler. Uh, looks like some more outdoors and pool type stuff. We're gonna be loaded on outdoors for this sale. Uh, that Amazon pallet again. Looks to be some decent stuff in here. Uh, what do we have here? A water jug, some more pool stuff, a fan. Uh, that's probably a bird feeder for hummingbirds. Back through these. Here we've got another cooler. Uh, looks like some luggage sprayers a crate of some sort this box is a hose here we've got more cabinets we've got one piece up here a couple larger ones down here looks like they're white and there was one other one that was about to fall off of a pallet and we put it up there as well another amazon pallet looks like some decent stuff here Excited to go through that. And lastly, this uh, looks to be more, that looks like a fan, uh, children's toilet. Uh, woman's, uh, I think that's a reused box. Looks like um, seat pads, seat cushions for patio furniture. So we're gonna have a lot of this in a big blowout sale. And I'm really excited about it. Oh, and then here, uh, looks like more cabinets. I think I already showed this one, these two. A lot of these lawnmowers, 18 inch real lawnmower. Uh, it's not an 18 inch pretend lawnmower, it is real. No clue what's gonna be in here. It says bubble wrap, but it's, they probably just reused the box. And there's gonna be a lot of stuff, you know, we're only seeing the very top layer. This stuff goes all the way down. I think I'm gonna do really well on this. I really need to get this loading dock back though because I cannot ship pallets until this is empty. But a lot of these, you know, we can send to an auction company and uh, get a pretty quick return. Remember, most of these I only paid a hundred bucks each. All in, I think I'm somewhere around 8,000, including shipping for everything. Um, my goal is to make my money back before we even have this. Look at this, batteries. These do so well on eBay. Laser distance measure. I'm excited to go through this one, but again, that'll be its own video. Probably sometime in the next week or two, you'll see that. Okay, I gotta stop looking at that one. So that is what this looks like. I'm probably gonna end up splitting this into multiple videos just because I'm not going through it all at once. It's a little easier to edit that way. So I decided I'm not gonna do separate video on these two pallets. I started looking at them. So this is about 25 to 35 bucks on eBay. It is brand new. This is also brand new, about 80 to 100 on eBay. There is a little box damage, so I'll probably be at the lower end, closer to 80, but it is still sealed. This box has seen better days, but this is still, what do you need a Bluetooth toothbrush for? Uh, it is still sealed. Uh, you can tell the, the flaps are glued down. That's unbroken, the same with the bottom. Flaps are still glued down. Um, it is about 55, I think is what I saw it selling for on eBay. Um, this is open. I will have to look at it. Uh, it the box 
doesn't have any seal at all, it looks like. Like right here, looks like you could open it right up, maybe. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe this is new. Uh, but new, this is going for about 100 bucks. Used, believe it or not, people do buy used razors. Used, it's going for about 50 This is likely going to be brand new, just open box. So that should be a good one. Uh, what else? This type of stuff will go in the sale and sell pretty pretty quickly. So that's this box. This box alone is probably going to be a few hundred bucks. A lot of these snack bags, they're just going in the sale, in the warehouse sale. You know, looking into here. Some of this might be worth looking up on eBay. But this will sell very quickly in the sale. I wonder if this stuff is past date. Yeah, it looks like a lot of this is going to be past date. But that's just, you know, I don't think this stuff expires. Oh, that's Target. Interesting. So maybe that's where this stuff originated from. Um, this obviously doesn't expire, doesn't expire, doesn't expire. So, you know, some of this might be past date and maybe people will buy it, maybe not. But there's a lot of, you know, this type of stuff. This is going to do really well. What would you say? There's maybe 20 or 25 boxes in here. So 20, 25 boxes at $2 each average is 40 to 50 bucks for this box. These, um, I will probably put the retail these individually since our highest price is gonna be $3. These will all sell to one person at three bucks, I guarantee it. I'm probably gonna keep a few of these for myself. But individually, we're probably gonna, they'll probably go for two or three each. Uh, these, these are not the giant ones, which is good because these are still a great deal at three, but the giant ones are an insane deal at three. So we'll uh, be able to move this stuff pretty well. I don't know what's in there. It looks like more Ziploc bags. There might be a lot of Ziploc bags in here, which is good. Mixed. Um, why does that look like Keurig? I'm trying to look at... No, hefty bags. I saw the NG. I don't know why I thought NG was Keurig. Uh, more Ziploc bags. Uh, garbage bags. Ziploc bags, and that's just one side. These are stacked, how many are there? Three, six, six by four, so 24 boxes on each of these pallets, assuming you count, you know, some of these as a box. If I were to average 20 bucks a box, which I think is a very low estimate, for example, there's 12 of them here, those will all sell at $3 each, so that's 36 bucks. Um, but if we say 20 times 24, uh, that's a little under my cost, but we're going to get more than 20 bucks a box here. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. I'm really excited about this one. These might be the best ones, the best pallets in here or that one maybe. So we're going through these pallets. We've got a couple of new totes, garbage can wheels, a little bent up, but it'll still sell. I'm going through these up here so we can get to the lower ones. Um, all right. Looks like some grills. I don't know what that is. Uh, we'll get to it eventually, though. So first of the $100 pallets is empty. I've got, I think it was 17 of these tough hoses. And if you notice, it says whole, but they were just refunded. They didn't exchange it. So a lot of times, even though it says it's damaged, you still want to test them. These good odds, they work perfectly fine. These will be easy to test. I plug them in and to the hose nozzle, put some sort of end on it and see if it, uh, if it holds water. Not too difficult. Don't know what that is. I don't know. Anyways, uh, so I got a whole bunch of these. I mean, at, what's retail on them? Retail is 35 bucks each. So even if I get 10 bucks each, that's what, 180? 170 all right i'm gonna count them i had 16 of them so that's 160 bucks at 10 each my thought process is some of these are going to be defective and thrown in the trash if half of them work and i get 20 each it's still 160 bucks and that shouldn't be too difficult considering they're um you know 35 bucks in the store i also got three grills probably all fine 
couple of broken handles, nothing to, actually they all have the same handle broken. Um, is there a tag on it? Oh, that's heavy. Uh, there's no tag on it, so I have no idea what the story will be on there. Here's another one of those hoses, no packaging. So we'll see. Uh, I'm not gonna try to mess with that. We'll see if that one works. I didn't count that when I said 16. Uh, we got a bug zapper. These are all green garden hoses. I've got four that don't have obvious damage. There's one here that I threw out. Obvious damage. So again, same thing to test them. What I will probably do is just sell them untested as one big lot of four and uh, you know maybe get 20 bucks for all of them. And then I showed you the garbage can. Underneath it, right there, are two sprayers. You know, you fill with weed killer or something, you can pump action, you pump sprayers. Um, and then we've got another unique type of hose here, um, similar to these hoses. And lastly, we got a pressure washer. I did say that I need one of these the other day. It uh, probably works fine because it's a retail display unit. Uh, that said, sometimes they do cut cords off. I don't see where it would have plugged in. So I'll have to look a little more closely at it. Let's see, so your air goes in here. Your water probably goes out and in. This is probably if you're gonna put soap in it. I don't know what that is. I don't know where this thing would even plug in. Um, and then up here, you've got the different nozzles. So less exciting, this might be junk. It looks, this is where the cord goes. It looks empty in there. It says display unit only. This might just be a non-functioning display. Um, maybe it's as simple as, you know, buying the part and putting the cord in. I'm not sure. At the very least, you've got extra nozzle tips. I don't know. We'll probably send this to a local auction and see what it'll do. It's really lightweight, but it is electric. So it, it's going to be lightweight regardless. So I'm not sure what the story is on this, but we'll list it. Maybe get 10 bucks for it in this condition. Now the next pallet is right here. It looks like they were trying to sell for 250 originally. And remember, I got it for 100 bucks. I don't like this gap. Uh, we have spray paint maybe? Well, first off, we got some batteries. Uh, these always come in handy. I keep these for cameras that I sell. Also, this CR2 battery is what powers my security cameras. So these are always nice to have. I'll probably just keep those. These always come in handy too. I usually buy them in larger quantities on eBay, but uh, a lot of times I'll sell small calculators or something that use them. Not so much this one. I don't think I've ever had to buy that one. All right, what do we have here? Oh, Flex Seal. $12.95, I think that says was the original price. Return to claim slip. I have a feeling these weren't customer returns. They probably just pulled them from the shelves for some reason. Um, I will have to do some research to make sure they weren't pulled due to, you know, a recall or anything like that. It looks like they were pulled just a few months ago, but I should have no problem getting five bucks a piece for these. And then I did see more batteries in the bottom there. You can kind of see them down there. Oh, this isn't a battery or flex seal. What is this? Lighter fluid of some sort, maybe? Paint, matte finish, so red paint. I don't know, this looks like a decent box though. I don't see, I mean, how many cans do we have here? So it looks like there are 20 cans in here at five bucks each, that's a hundred bucks. So this box will pay for the entire pallet. This is definitely a better pallet than that one. So here we've got pruning shears. It says reason is damaged. Um, it didn't look like this. They were, you know, locked it in place. The other half is down there. Uh, I went to unlock it and the spring just shot the thing off. I'm thinking these probably don't work, but they also are made to come apart so I could just you know, screwed something up there. I also stabbed myself in the leg with it. It dropped, landed on my leg, then landed down there. So I'm gonna set this aside, and one day maybe we'll be able to get that thing out and see if we can get them fixed. So here's something I don't understand. This was returned. It looks like it's never even been opened, but the end is cut off. I don't understand why people do that. 
Um, but bought two of these soaker hoses. You can see this one has two ends. Here's the thing though, someone probably still buy this. Uh, it's a soaker hose. So you'd run this in your plants and water will permeate out of this to, um, you know, water, slowly water things. It doesn't really matter if this ends open or you could take some of that flex seal and put it on the end. This has an original price of, wow, only eight bucks. Uh, but you know, we'll put it in our warehouse, they'll sell it for a buck and someone will have a good use for it. We've got a motion activated light. It says worked only one day and quit. I can't really test this because you need to actually wire it up, but I'd be surprised if this didn't work. It sounds more like user error or maybe some crotchety old person who uh, didn't like how it worked. By the way, old people, I'm not saying all of you are crotchety. Some people get really offended. Looks like it came from Sam's Club. So uh, we're gonna sell this as an untested customer return. Uh, original price was 25 bucks. I think we could probably get 10 bucks out of it. We've got a pool float that's been opened. I'm probably just gonna toss this. All right, so we've got some more of these sprayers. Looks like three, four, five, maybe six. Six of those sprayers. A shipping box. Odd. Well, we can definitely use these. So six of those sprayers and a fan. Let's pull those out and it looks like uh, a lampshade. Usually these get pretty damaged. Maybe I can pop it out. Let's see. Now nah, I popped some of it out, but it's still staying pretty wrinkled. So we'll throw that out. This is becoming a garbage pallet. Oh, that's probably a bad idea because I can't actually get this off of here. So I might stop doing that. All right, let's get this stuff out. So it looks like we get some more hoses, a gas can. What's this? Arrows? This looks like Walmart stuff, so I can't imagine those are too expensive. Another sprayer. We got a tower fan. Oh, little hose uh, watering nozzle. Uh, here we've got a hummingbird feeder. That doesn't appear to be damaged. That probably just clips on. Should be fine there. And then there's just another hose down there. Uh, looks like a couple of curtain rods. These look nice. Let me pull one of these out and look at it. So I got the coolers out. This one's in nice shape. There's nothing wrong with it except it's missing the wheels. This is something that someone could probably retrofit. It is still sellable. And even if you don't put wheels on it, it's still a cooler. There's still a handle on each side. It, um, you open it up. Uh, that's the only downside. It likes to lean back where the wheels were supposed to be, but you know, it's nice, good inside. This one is identical. It has the wheels and it's, I don't, I can't find anything wrong with it. Well, that might be a little tough to open, but that might be by design. Uh, looks perfectly fine. It's got a little stain in there. So maybe it was just used in return. I don't know. I lifted this up. Wheels roll nicely. Yeah, I don't know. And then we get this one. Basically the same thing. It's got wheels. This seems really flimsy, but that's just by design. It's not broken or anything. It rolls nicely. I really feel like once you have this weighted down with ice, that would break. But that's just how it's made. And maybe that's why it was returned. And then open it. You know, hinge is fine. This, well, that's interesting. Usually they have a little plug on the bottom. Uh, for example, on these ones, it's back there. Oh, I see what the issue with this one is. Drain plug's broken. Um, but, see, here's the thing. That's a little screwy, but that, sh that shouldn't be a problem as this. Reach out to Coleman. I bet you could get one of these sent to you for free or at least very cheap. Or buy this one. What I would probably do if it were me, I'm going to sell them as is, but if it were me, I would take the wheels off of this one and put them on this one. That's the way I'd go. Um, but you could also, hey, just take the flex seal that was also on this pallet, fill that up, and you're good to go. You just won't be able to drain it. But this one's basically, it's only a little smaller, and this one doesn't have a drain. So I seriously don't see any reason this would have been returned. There are no cracks in it. Yeah, that, but that probably happened when it was in the pallet. You know, same with all this, these little marks and whatnot probably just happened in the pallet. Seems perfectly fine. That's just a piece of styrofoam. I don't know. So next we've got a grill cover. Highly doubt there's anything wrong with this. $22.97 was the original price. 
Uh, return reason does not work. If I were a betting man, I would say they returned it because it didn't fit their grill. One thing you have to remember, the uh, employee isn't typing this out. They have a screen that says push here for doesn't work, push here for wrong size or didn't fit, push here for changed mind. Um, a lot of Walmart employees are lazy. I've noticed this in a lot of stores when I return things, they're lazy. Sometimes they won't even ask, they'll just push a random button. Uh, when I'd return stuff to Goodwill, stuff that I buy, turns out it doesn't work, I can't sell it, I bring it back to Goodwill. You have no idea how many times I've told them this doesn't work. They just push a random button and it ends up back on the sales floor. Just because they're too lazy to push the right button or to ask, that's what you get with a lot of, uh, when, once you get to that minimum wage level, not a, you can have great employees at minimum wage, but you can also have some pretty terrible ones. So anyways, that is probably the case with that doesn't work. How does a grill cover not work? They probably mean it doesn't fit or just selected a random one. Very surprisingly though, it's the customer too. Another thing with returns, I mentioned this on other videos, they just say it doesn't work so they can return it, even if they return it because they changed their mind or needed the money or what have you. Um, there were so many times where I've found, you know, electronics where they say doesn't work, Bluetooth doesn't pair or something like that. Handwritten on the receipt. That's the good employees. Um, works perfectly fine. I sold a ton of things like that on eBay, no returns, no negative feedbacks. And of course I tested them before I sold them. It's, I guess people are too ashamed to say that I need the money, so I wanna return it, or they feel like they're gonna be you know, turned away or something. So they just say it doesn't work. Usually it works. Remember this stuff was new when they bought it. So what are the odds it doesn't work? All right, here's something. This, I thought it was an air mattress at first. It's actually a baking dish with an insulated tote and it looks like a cold pack uh, anchor which is a decent brand oh i must have already pulled the receipt off the receipt that was on it said uh, it was returned i didn't even read the reason it was returned i wonder if i tossed there it is let me reach in here and grab this one uh so they just wrote bad spot on it so i'm guessing that means it's stained let's open this up and see what the issue is all right, so first we're looking this over. And by the way, I'm only doing this for you guys. Normally I have people that work for me that do this. So, no, that's just dust. So I don't, I don't see any stains or anything on here. All right, let's open it up. Look at this, the zipper is so nice. I don't even need two hands for it. Okay, I spoke too soon. All right, switch hands here. Oh, it was just caught on this plastic inside. I don't see anything wrong with it. Uh, let's see. What bad spot are they saying? I thought it was broken here at first, but that's the design of the lid. Let's take the lid off here. Perfectly fine. The hot and cold pack. Flatten it out here so we can look at it. No marks, no stains. Perfectly fine. And the dish. I don't see any chips, any cracks. I figured there might be a chip on the edge or something. This thing is absolutely flawless. Now let's take this out. I'll set it aside here. Looking inside. No holes, no stains. I have no idea what bad spot means. The only thing I can think of, uh, there were a couple of other receipts on it. Maybe that receipt came from something else and uh, just happened to get stuck in here. Hey, maybe it came off of this. Maybe this has a stain. Cause this was kind of, no, this wasn't next to it. What was next to it? I don't remember. It might've been one of those or something. I don't know, but we're just about done with this palette. Some gas cans in here, some bird feeders. You can see there's a couple more down there. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to get this up, but I can flip it over. Uh, some shears. So those should sell pretty well. And then this, uh, those always sell decent in the sale. Oh, trying. Almost there we go. All right, this return slip says, didn't cut at all. 
that could just be the tape holding. Let me get this tape off, I'll try it out. Works perfectly fine. Here, let's test it. No, I'm gonna sell those. Um, I'm debating if I wanna even cut a branch with it because that's gonna make them not really new. Let's. I don't see any problem, see? That receipt, um, let's see, does not work. And then they wrote, didn't cut at all. And um, it was just a refund, not an exchange. See, that's the thing to look for. This isn't like always gonna be the case, but um, you know, if I buy this, that means I need it. If it doesn't work, I'm gonna bring it back. Don't you think I'm gonna exchange it for another one? So that's why you always check and then see it locks in place unlocks so that's another thing to look for see if it was returned or exchanged they don't always mark that uh, let's look at this one see this one for example they didn't mark what it was uh, but anyways so that's the story with that back to this thing I took a closer look at this lid thinking maybe one of these nubs was broken off but it looks like it's intended to just be on one side you can see their opposite corners. There's no place it would have broken from. I have no idea why this was returned, but this is a nice item, especially right now with the holidays coming, people bringing you know, dishes for Thanksgiving, Christmas dinner. This will sell well. And we'll just slide this thing back on it. Um, I can't imagine they're gonna return it for some damage to the packaging, but I wish there was a price. I don't know what this would go for. I would, if I were to guess, and here's the UPC if you want to look it up yourself. If I were to guess, I'd say this is probably 20 to 30 bucks in the store. Uh, it is from Walmart. These are Walmart uh, labels. So look at the Walmart app, see what it is. I really don't care enough to look it up right now. So that is Palette 2. I'm going to pull the last of this stuff out. Um, this one here, the first one you saw with all the hoses and the grills, not a great palette. Uh, 100 bucks. Maybe I'll get 150, 200, 250, something like that. It depends on how many of those hoses work. This one was really good though. All that flex seal, you can see there's another can down there. Um, the hoses may or may not work. The sprayers should all work. That's not something that's too complicated unless it's physically damaged. Uh, the fan could go either way. Uh, things like this and that. This is gonna be a good one. Uh, and, oh, and the coolers, yeah, forgot about those too. Paid 100 bucks each for these two pallets. I'm gonna be saying that a lot because people are gonna see this and forget. And you know, I didn't pay 100 bucks each for all of them. The Amazon ones were higher and whatnot. So that is these two pallets. Now this one down here, I think I decided I'm gonna sell it as a pallet. This is the one that has all those lawn mowers. I'm not gonna climb down there and show you right now. But it has all those lawn mowers, the push, uh, like manual push mowers, and then the Briggs and Stratton air compressor. I'm probably gonna sell that pallet as it sits for 250 bucks, see if I can move it that way. And the reason is because I have so many of these lawnmowers. I can only, my, I only have a market for so many of them. So get rid of a whole bunch by selling that pallet. Now I'm gonna go home because I am, my, my neck is killing me. I have a stiff neck. I don't know if it's from unloading that truck yesterday. I don't think it is. I've never, you know, well, in the past few years, I haven't gotten a stiff neck from that. And uh, the only time it happened was when I first started unloading trucks and moving pallets. My muscles are used to it now. But I think I just slept weird. I can't turn my head to the left. I can go, it hurts to go to the right, but this is as far as I can go to the left. It hurts to lift my left arm. I think I'm just gonna lay down and relax for the rest of the night, take an Advil or something. It's not late, you know, it's afternoon. It's like one o'clock. Yeah, almost one o'clock, 12.54. And I had a sale. Um, so yeah, that's it for me today. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, check out the next video. It's probably gonna be digging through more of this. I'm gonna show you as much of this stuff as I can. Uh, but until then, see you in the next one.